I saw you. Hey guys, um, thank you for watching Underground Cargo. We appreciate the you supporting our trucking content and yeah, stay tuned. Stay tuned for more. <laughs> That's right. You know what time it is. It's time for business buys. Business buys. So this week for Business Bites, I wanted to talk about ideas that we come up with, but that have already been thought up by somebody else. Yeah, that happens all the time. I come up with great ideas. And until you do research, until you talk to people, you're not going to know if that idea is already out there. You know, you come across a lot of ideas, great ideas that pop into your head and somebody else already thought about it. <laughs> you know, before you get too worked up and positive about something, you know, it's like make sure that somebody else hasn't already tried it or it's not already out there. Back in the day when I ran my internet company, um, I was uh, reserving a lot of .com uh, addresses for a while, you know? And, uh, you know, and you're sitting there and you're thinking about these ideas and you're like, oh, that would be a great uh, URL. That would be a great .com, abcd.com. You know, it's not abcd.com, but you know, like, you know, imaginary name.com, whatever it is, right? You want to reserve these names and you go into the registry and you check to see if that name is available. And nine out of 10 times, it's not available. You know, you do, you do that who is and, and it pops up, you know, the registry and it pops up uh, if that URL or if that .com, .net, .org, whatever it was, was available or not. And, uh, and then even if it is available, if you're going to do a legitimate business with it, you almost have to check to make sure that nobody else is running a business under that name that could potentially try to sue you, give you a cease and desist and tell you that you can't use that name anymore. I had a situation like that where I was running a business and uh, they actually hired lawyers and sent me a cease and desist. <laughs> you know, I'm not making this stuff up. You know, it's like uh, they tell you, you can't use your name. You, you, you know, you work hard thinking about your name and you come up with this name and uh, um, they won't let you use it. Do your research. I'm just saying be proactive. Like some of us were great at thinking of uh, ideas when it comes to implementing those ideas or even doing the back work, the behind the scenes work to get that idea going. Uh, a lot of times we don't do the legwork. You know, we, we're great at coming up with the idea, the concept, you know, the, the success story in our head, the dollar signs that, that we imagine that we're going to make when we launch this thing. To be honest with you, a lot of us people that are like that, we almost need to team up with the people that can do the legwork or the people that can do some of the uh, the tedious lifting. And there are people out there, they're wired to do more of the research, more of the, and they, you know, they, they like doing stuff like that. You know, you just have to communicate well with them and let them know what you need. And then uh, you can actually form a good partnership. So sorry, there's a bug flying around here and you know, bugs love me. Mosquitoes love my blood. Anyway, make sure you can do the legwork. Make sure you 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 are properly prepared before you dive in head first, and you incrementally or you know systematically build 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 till you hit that point where you can say, oh, I can launch this, or I can I can I can take the next step. And one of the fallacies of uh, of life is that we think we're the best person for every every facet of life. You know, we think we're larger than life almost sometimes because we think we can do every aspect of the business. We have to know how to identify our weaknesses and hone in our strengths and then partner up with the right people to be able to cover our weaknesses. You know, so that means that if you're good at the sales part or the talking part or the PR part, then you need, and most likely you're not good with the data part, the IT part, the uh, research part or whatever else that may come, you know, in the background, then you need to get the resources to be able to cover those gaps. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to get an equal partner or whatever. It does mean that you have to cover those gaps. So covering those gaps could sometimes mean you hire independents, you know, that work, you know, on a contract basis or on a per job basis. You can find people like on Fiverr and, and places on the internet where, uh, they do like certain types of contract labor where they'll do the graphic arts for you or they'll do the uh, uh, the sound for you, uh, the videos for you. You know, like there, there's people out there that are that are gig workers that can do certain certain jobs for you. You know, they can write up the business plan for you. I mean, these days you can have AI doing a lot of those parts, too. So sorry, I got mosquitoes coming all. Sorry, I had mosquitoes hovering all over me. I had to move out of there. Anyway, so um, cover those gaps. So you need to get those gig workers, get the gig workers. You need to partner up with somebody who you can trust that won't uh, sell your idea or use your idea or give your idea to somebody else. You know, find those people because uh, you need to fill those gaps. You need to form a partnership. And it's not just one person. Sometimes you need a whole team. These days, it's, it's kind of exciting times for us small business owners and some certain startups because how much of the gaps can you fill with actual artificial intelligence, the new AI technology that's out there? And so it's important to do your research too on that. You know, keep abreast, keep keep up to date with all that technology. Uh, it's important. 
another thing too you have to ask yourself is even though you have that leg up because you have a solid uh, idea and a solid team or a solid um, a solid way to cover all the gaps and then you know Joe Schmo comes along six months later sees your idea sees how you're doing it and then wants to do it one better and then they now have better technology with the newer stuff coming out on AI and they do it better than you so this is why it's I know it's a lot of work, but you have to stay on top of it, you know, when it comes to technology, when it comes to what's what resources are at your fingertips, when you need to shift from plan A to plan B to plan C, you have to you have to shift gears because if something better is out there, I mean, like it's like you're going on a journey and then all of a sudden, you know, rocks fall in the middle of your road and slow you down. And then you realize that you, you find another fork in the road that takes you there quicker. You have to make that adjustment. You're not going to sit there and say, I'm going to stick on this road because this is this was our plan from the beginning. No, if obstacles get in your way and slow you down, you need to find another alternative. Now, if you find a shorter route, a better route, you need to take that route. This is what smart people do. But a lot of times when you're working with teams, when you make these shifts, there's going to be people out there that grumble. They're going to say, you know what? We were supposed to go on this route, plan A, and now you've introduced plan B and plan C, and I'm not buying it. I'm not having it. You know, I don't, I don't like this. You know why? Because they have to mentally adjust. They have to make adjustments in their work. It might create more work for them, you know, but your organization as a whole, you're going to have a quicker outcome and that's going to benefit the organization. So these are things you have to think about, you know, um, know how to fill the gaps and know how to do the research. That's my business bites for you this week. Business buys. What's going on, my people? This week was a short week. I worked Tuesday, Wednesday, and a couple hours on Thursday morning. It ended up being 920 miles. It wasn't bad for a short week. Uh, I had to take a few days off for uh, in preparation for my daughter's wedding. So I went to NorCal, went up to uh, Napa Valley, came back down, and uh, 920 miles total. No drama. Uh, everything went pretty smoothly. As I said before, uh, hitting another milestone in our family, our uh, second born is uh, getting married. Everybody's asking me, am I sad? Am I sad? No, because they've been together for such a long time it's time that they need to get married <laughs> yeah i'm really happy for her and uh he's a great guy so uh hopefully they are very very happy i mean they're already happy so i'm not even worried about that so yeah uh but this is a short week and then next week it's going to be a full week uh and then the week after that or two weeks in a row after that i will be out of the country i'll be in korea for uh about two weeks and the thing is is i haven't been back since 1989 that's yeah, gonna be an interesting trip that's with the family so I hope uh, you guys have a good and safe week and uh, I will catch you next time. Peace. God bless you and uh, take good care of yourself. Stay safe out there. Cheers. Danny, you're in it. And then my dad's gonna do it for fun. Size for comparison. Just in case. Dad, just in case. She can't do it. Yeah, hey, yours are smaller than this. Don't worry about it. Yours are bigger. Yours are smaller. I think yours are smaller, John. Can I chop it up? No. No. One bite. But his was thinner and longer, like that. Yeah. Those are. Oh, Dad, you should do chugging contest with ivory. Oh. <laughs> I go. Hey, 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 hey. We need the father of the bride before for the wedding. Wait, right? Don't die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nobody can. Oh, that's it. Wait, shoot, I forgot to press record. <laughs> you know what? Look at your shirt. You know what? The watermelon steak doesn't come off. You know what? It was those little pieces. I was crying until she said, you got to get these little pieces. The minute I put the little pieces in, that's when I gag. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm stopping it. Yeah, dip your neck. Yeah.
you happy? Very happy. 